Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today's subject is visualization, mental training, and how you can use it to improve and set a PR in your next race. So I have the 20 km du Paris in five days. Today's Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, race day. And one of the things I always do before a big race is get to know the course, become more familiar with the course. So I've been in Paris for about two months and I pretty much run all over the city. I'm pretty familiar with the race course as it is, but the two places that I'm probably most intimately familiar with are the starting line and the finishing line. The last two miles or three miles or like 5K before the finish line. There's a few reasons for this. Generally, the starting line is probably one of the most stressful parts of the race because, and I'm sure anyone who's run a big race before knows this, it's this really weird, very special, very unique situation where you have hundreds or thousands of people all like in these like skimpy little clothes just like full of glycogen everyone's like super tense and nervous and just like just ready to explode but we're all like standing this close to each other i can't really think of any other situation where you're that closely clumped together with a lot of like hot-blooded people just like ready to bolt. So it can be a very weird, very jarring experience if you've never done it before. So one thing I always like to do before the race at some point is to go and kind of really get familiar with the starting line and the area around the starting line. What's up? How's it going? Good, how's it going? Good. What's this? This is Jay. Hi everyone. Sonny. Nice, hi. Jay is a, he's a very, very popular experience vlogger, daily vlogger. Here in Paris. <laughs> He's like, stop. A lot of work goes into this whole production. I'll link his channel in the description below and a link right boop here to a relevant video that we'll discuss. It's the starting line right here. Starts here and it. So I know kind of what the frame is gonna be and then maybe I'll find a little area close by that might be a little quieter so that on the race day, you know, when it's all crazy and all the emotions are flowing and all that good stuff, you know, I can maybe take a beat and find a place for myself. And the other area that I really like to get to be familiar with is the, the end point. So like the last, like maybe the last couple miles just before the end of the race. Because usually by that point, my mind is just totally gone. And if before the race, I can kind of mentally start to visualize and prepare myself to go through that area, it almost kind of like greases the groove a little bit. So at that point in the race, I'm gonna be mentally just gone. And I wanna make sure that when it's time to dig deep and just push myself and go to my limit and beyond my limit into that kind of next mental level, I've already almost kind of been there before. So I like to run it so I, I physically, you know, I kind of like, oh, okay, this is what it's like. But then I can go home and then I can mentally train and prepare and rehearse for that section of the race. So I know in that final 5K, um, it's time to go. Because at that point in the race, no one's gonna be thinking rationally. It's just all blood and guts and just heart and hopefully, you know, if you've already done a bit of the mental prep, you've already kind of routed those those mental synapses a little bit, right? Um, that's kind of the idea. Lucky. Bike! Bike! So now that we've run the beginning and we've run the end of the race, it leads us to the next part, which is the most important. It's the the visualization and the mental preparation. So I think that knowing the course beforehand is an important part of visualizing your success, visualizing your future win. So the research on this was kind of interesting. Honestly, it was kind of broad and non-specific because the term is kind of broad and non-specific. Visualization, mental training, mental imagery, mental preparation. Uh, um, one definition for mental practice said it's the repetition of a task without any discernible movement with the intent of learning. They've shown that it kind of lends itself better towards simple motor tasks versus complex motor tasks. It can aid with new skill acquisition. It can also aid in improvement or betterment of a current skill. Um, they have shown that it tends to improve experienced athletes more versus novice athletes. But what really stood out to me was kind of the anecdotes from professional athletes. Like I love that stuff. So one is uh, from Jack Nicklaus, a very famous golfer. And he said, I never hit a shot, not even in practice without a clear, sharp, focused picture of it in my 
mind. Another one was a very famous Olympic skier, Jean-Claude Killy. He was actually out due to an injury and his following performance, he even personally felt it was one of his best performances because even though he wasn't practicing, he was replacing it with mental imagery, which I thought was pretty cool. There was a study I found with the effect of it on runners. So specifically, they had a mental training preparation package and they did an intervention for a 1600 meter or one mile timed run. And for the three participants that had the mental training intervention, their performance improved. I didn't see like the times or like the methods or anything like that because I didn't buy like the full periodical, nor do I know the specific mental techniques and strategies they used. But that leads me to the next part, which is basically like, how do you do it? So like we, we know, I think you guys know that mental training, mental preparation really does improve and positively affect your performance. So how do you do it? With me, one of the biggest things I think is unknowns lead to fear and fear leads to anxiety. So for me, in my mind, like there's two big unknowns as a runner. One thing is the setting and the course, right? Everything you're gonna see visually and things that kind of happen externally. And then the second unknown is gonna be kind of the body, what happens internally, which we're gonna talk about tomorrow. But today we're talking about that first big unknown, which is the race course. So that's why I go to the starting line. That's why I go to the finish line. And that's why I like to just kind of know a little bit about what it's like so that when it's time to race, I've already kind of almost been there. So what I do is I basically close my eyes and I envision myself in the future. They call it internal visualization versus external visualization. So I look through my own eyes in the future. I look down, what do I see? I see the shoes that I'm wearing on race day, the bib that I'm wearing on race day, my watch. I visually see what the course is gonna be like. I try and think about the sounds that I'm gonna hear, the smells that I'm gonna smell. If you've been down the course before, you might pick up some of these senses, right? I like to think about my best runs, that really light footstep, that really easy, smooth arm swing. That feeling when you're running where it's completely effortless. You just, all you have to do is subtly pick up your knee and that's all you have to do. It's all the effort that's required and your body just moves and moves and moves. And all you're doing is slightly lifting up your knee because it's an effortless gait, it's an effortless propulsion. I really just try and envision everything I can that has to do with the race and feeling like a good, strong, smooth, powerful runner. Um, Cause that's the performance that I wanna see. And that's when I notice that I tend to have the best races. I think it also helps for me to prepare the worst case scenario as well. So unknown leads to fear, fear leads to anxiety, anxiety leads to crap performances. I try to think of like the worst possible outcome, like the weather, oh no, it's hailing or it's windy or it's rainy or uh, my shoe comes off or whatever it might be. And you can do your little mental preparation in advance. And so that way when you're on the starting line or even in the middle of your race and you have all these crazy thoughts that are going on, um, you've already kind of already prepared for it a little bit. I don't know, for me, I've noticed that it just really kind of helps bring down the anxiety, bring down the fear. When I was younger, when I was in like high school, I ran abysmally because I got so nervous before the race because I just didn't know. There were so many unknowns. I didn't know the course, I didn't know my body, I didn't know how my body would respond. And so now as I'm getting older, one of the biggest things I do for my racing, for my training is reducing unknowns, trying to really just figure out everything I can. And so we'll talk about body and stuff tomorrow, but that encompasses things like how, how is this food going to affect me mid race? What are these shoes going to feel like? Is this going to chafe in my part of my arm or something? These are all things that you can prepare for before the race so that when you're in the race, it's not a problem. Okay, so that is today's talk on visualization, mental preparation through the lens of seeing the race course. Just the first part and the last part of the race. Hope you guys enjoyed the pretty pictures of Paris. And also Jay, I'll put a link to his stuff right here and also link to his uh, his profile in the description below. There's five days left into the race. And if you're never gonna run the 20 kilometers du Paris, that's okay. I just wanted to kind of um, use this or take this opportunity. Um, it's the final week before one of my races and I thought it'd be a cool way to kind of bring you guys along and uh, maybe you can hopefully use some of these techniques and ideas um, going forward into your next couple races. Um, so I hope you guys are finding it beneficial. If you are, please like, like, and then please subscribe. That would be so nice. And comment, let me know what you like. That'd be, that'd be awesome. It'd be nice to kind of talk and have a cool dialogue with you guys. That's it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.